Australia's new government has vowed to take necessary action to ensure reliable and affordable energy supply. Now, the country is facing a growing energy crisis as the cold winter months settle in. Millions of Australians have been warned that they could face gas and power shortages over the next 24 hours. A cold snap in Australia's east coast is pushing the country's energy supplies to the limit. Victoria, South Australia and Tasmania are facing dire gas shortages, while power supplies in New South Wales and Queensland are stretched. Industry experts say Australia is facing its worst energy crisis in 50 years, warning this could crash the country's economy. Wholesale electricity prices have already more than doubled this year. The surge is driven by soaring gas prices and outages at some coal plants. And it's only expected to get worse as heating demand spikes this winter. For the first time, Australia's energy market operator has activated a guarantee mechanism to call for emergency gas supplies. It has also kept wholesale gas prices in southern states. We have to be clear that this, you know, this does have the potential uh, to be an ongoing issue. This is an immediate challenge for coming days and it is not necessarily going to get better you know, straight away. So it will have ongoing impacts, but what I'm saying is the new government is taking, will take any action. Australia's new government has blamed the former administration for the power crisis. It's described the situation as a perfect storm of energy challenges that can't be fixed overnight. The ruling Labour Party is seeking to get cleaner and cheaper energy into the grid, but notes that it will take some time. We've had peak production for the aggregate of wind and solar recently in our market, and many are pointing out that if we had more of that, uh, we would uh, need less coal and gas and less exposed to the coal and gas crisis. Um, of course, these are not problems you, you fix in a crisis. They can't be fixed urgently. Investment takes time. The Australian government is set to convene a meeting of energy ministers next week.